Okay, so now, now we've gone ahead, we've talked about the for sale by owner script. We've talked about it using the Prospect Tucson line. Uh, we've talked about you know prospect agents and how they make more money and all this and all that. Now we need to go ahead and set up a close for the appointment. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the different closes that you can use when you're talking to these people. Okay, so the first one is called the power close. This one is my go-to, you know, my go-to close. When I'm working with a for sale by owner, this is the first one I go to because it's really a very powerful one. Okay, and this is how you deliver it. You say, okay, well, look, you know, I understand that you're you're trying to save the costs of hiring an agent. Is that right? And they're like, oh, well, yeah, that's right. Okay, so putting the most amount of money in your pocket is the main goal for you. Do I understand that right? And they're like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Well, listen, Bob, can I be honest with you? Now, what are they going to say? No, lie to me. Right, of course they're going to say that, right? Look, when you're, when, when we're looking at some new information, you'll decide either to continue in your own direction, which is fine with me, okay? Or you'll decide there may be an opportunity in using a professional, okay? And if you feel comfortable, then we can go from there, okay? Now, Bob, all right, look, you're going to decide what's best for you, okay? Now, it's important that you say this, that you put all of the power in their, in their hands, okay? You're saying, can I be honest with you? And they're like, well, yeah, absolutely. Okay, look, we're looking at some new information. That's number one, which is uh, going to cause them to either to continue in their own direction or, you know, which is fine. You're saying it's fine with me. I got no problem with that. Or, okay, you're going to decide that there may actually be an opportunity and use a professional and then if you feel comfortable, okay, you make sure you say, and if you feel comfortable, this is subliminal, uh, an embedded command, okay, and if you feel comfortable, all right, then, okay, we'll go from there. Now, Bob, you're not going to, you know, you're going to decide what's best for you, okay? Does that really sound unreasonable, you know? So what you're really saying to these people is this that they have all of the power, they have nothing to lose. It's not like you're coming over there and they're gonna sign their life away right now. You're just coming over there, you're gonna give them some free information. They're gonna have a choice to make. Either it's gonna work for them, which is you know great, and if it's not gonna work for them, that's great too. It's no big deal. Either way, it's no information and it doesn't sound unreasonable, does it? Really what you're trying to accomplish here is as opposed to enforcing your will on these people. Remember, they're getting calls day in and day out from people who are looking to list their home. All right, that's all they're hearing. I want to list your home. You're foolish. You can never sell your home by your owner, blah, blah, blah. That's all they hear all day long, okay? But you're telling them, I'm going to give you some new information, which may actually show you how I can make you 10 to 15 grand more. Or, you know, if you look at that, you may decide to, to work with me, or you may decide not to work with me, and either way, it's fine with me. I don't care. My job is to give you the information, okay? And that doesn't sound unreasonable, does it? Of course not, all right? Now, if they still kind of give you a little bit of hassle about it, and they don't want to set an appointment, you simply say, okay, that's no problem. Hey, I get it. It's no big deal, all right? I understand you're a little bit concerned, okay? So now we move to the next one, the what's more important close, all right? So Bob, tell me, you know, what, what's more important? Is it more important to just try and sell it on your own or is the most important thing to sell your property for as much money as possible? Now, this is putting the argument in a whole different light. Another way that I've said this in the past is to say, so let me ask you, which is more important? Is it more important that you sell it yourself or that you sell it for the most money possible? Which is more important to you? That's another way I've said that, okay? But the script itself goes, is it more important to just try and try and sell it on your own, you know, or is it the most important thing to actually sell it and make the most money possible? Which is more important to you, okay? The reason why this is so powerful is it because it, it, it puts down the thought that by selling it yourself, you're going to be making the most money possible. That says that they are two separate issues altogether. You got selling it yourself, which you can do, and then you got making the most money possible, which is something else, okay? And they think that they're the same, but they're not the same. And once you've, once you've said this, you've split apart this, 
this belief system that they have, they're going to say, well, wait a minute, what do you mean? This is what you'll hear. It's like you can actually hear the, the, the smoke on the other side of the phone. They'll be like, wait a minute, sell it myself or make the most money possible. What do you mean by that? Okay. That's when you say, well, great. I'm glad you asked. Tell you what, let's get together. Let's take a look at the property and I'll go over it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, great. Now, though we have an agent one. Oh, I love this one. This one's so much fun. I love it when they say they have an agent, okay? Because that part right there is, is so easy to get past. If they had an agent that they really had a great relationship, chances are, unless they're overly polite people, they're not going to be talking to you this long anyway, all right? So you say, well, you know what? That's great. And loyalty is a quality that I respect. And before you get yourself tied up in a legal contract, okay, remember, we're using ugh, yucky words, right? Tied up and legal contract. You know, when you start saying these kind of things, people start, you know, kind of getting this, you know, oh, boy, that's right. I'm going to be getting involved in a legal contract and tied. My property's going to be tied up and all that. You see, look, before you get yourself tied up in a legal contract for thousands of dollars, okay, can I ask you an honest question? And they'll be like, well, yeah, I suppose. But, you know, Bob, honestly, is the most important thing to let your friend try and sell your home for you? Or is the most important thing to actually sell for the most money possible? Now, remember, when you're starting to talk to people here, especially for sale by owners, okay, that money is the main motivator for these people. That's why they're doing it by owner most of the time. It's because they can't, you know, they, they don't want to spend the other, you know, 4500 bucks or whatever it would cost them to hire a realtor, okay? So when you're talking to them, you want to keep focusing on the fact that you're trying to sell it for the most money possible. That's really what you're there for, okay? And you got to keep going right back to that same motivation. Look, Bob, I understand you're thinking about listening with your friend, but are you more interested in having them you know, try to sell it for you, or are you more interested in getting it actually sold for the most money possible, okay? great close. The next close is, you know, the power close. Now this power close is fantastic because the power close enables you to go ahead and, and hit them regardless if they're an expired or for sale by owner with where it really matters. Okay. So power close, you know, look, he, he, Bob, look, here's the bottom line. Okay. I understand. Okay. The fact Now you say this is the fact just like the fact, okay? The way you say it is very powerful here. I understand the fact that, you know, you're not gonna do anything unless it makes sense. It's a clear advantage to you, okay? So that kind of goes without saying. You're just saying it so it gets in their head and it reminds them, oh yeah, you know, I'm not gonna do anything anyway unless it makes sense, okay? So look, Bob, I understand the fact that you're not gonna do anything unless there's a clear advantage to you, okay? Is that right? Oh, well, yeah, okay. So when I come over, now that's an assumptive close. When I come over, you're not saying, hey, can I come over? I'd like to come over. When I come over, when I come over, okay, we'll look at some new information as to why it might make sense financially to sell, all right? Now, if you decide to go on your own direction, okay, hey, that's no problem, that's fair, I'll shake your hand and impart as a professional, okay? Now, because bringing people information is part of my job. Does that sound unreasonable? Okay, again, we're hitting right back with that unreasonable part, all right? Because you wanna keep emphasizing the fact that any kind of resistance to this is completely unreasonable, it's against their best interests, and yeah, meeting with you, as long as you keep your word, you tell them you're only going to be there 10, 15 minutes, then bless God, you be there 10, 15 minutes. That's it. 10, 15 minutes comes, your time's up. You say, hey, folks, look, I promised you that I would be out of your hair. I'm going to take my leave. You know, unless you have any other questions, I'm going to leave because I want to keep my word. Okay? As long as you keep your promises, most agents don't. Most agents will go out there. They'll say, you know, I'm only going to be here 15, 20 minutes, and they'll camp out in the house on the couch for two hours. Okay? Be honest. Keep your word, stay there 10, 15 minutes, all right? And really, there's no unreasonable reason why. If they're seriously considering selling their property, okay, there's no reason why they shouldn't meet with you, okay? So anyway, hope that helps. We'll look forward to talking to you later. Bye-bye.